Hello everybody, DBD here, happy to be returning to you with episode 5 of our Raft series. Let's hop back in. I can't wait to see the rest of what we're going to be doing. Everything's looking real nice. You know what, I kind of want to start using this recycler. Uh, we're going to want to start building up trash cubes, so let's start this episode by crafting ourselves a battery. Copper, scrap, and plastic. Take some of this scrap out of here, put it in here in the crafting chest. All right. Boom. All right, we can now start recycling raw materials. Well, that's the desert canyon place with the settlement built around it. Now, I'm going to definitely want more armor pieces for this because those birds... It's good that we crafted a helmet already because those birds are quite dangerous. We're going to want to wear this while we're here, actually. Which means no boarhead helmet for now. Now, let's uh take a look here and see what items we might want to start recycling. Okay. Well, we saved some space in that chest big time. All right, now, the first obvious thing to recycle is all these feathers. We're just going to keep on getting feathers over time, and they don't have much use outside of the standard, you know, arrow production. All right, um... Dreamers over there. We need to try to get that way if we can. Hang on, let me anchor for a sec. Now, I doubt the sail can take us over there to the left. But if it can't, we'll just turn the raft around. Ooh. Yes, I need this. Okay, and let's water the plots. Keep production going, you know? Alright, now. Anchor released. And it does look actually like we're going slightly to the left, but we might have to turn the raft anyway. Yeah, sadly, this isn't going to work. All right, let's turn the raft around. Beautiful. Okay. Well, let's get moving. All right. Alright, well, I've put six stacks of feathers in there already. It fits quite a bit. Now, let's turn the raft around. we got to park somewhere around here. Alright. Beautiful. We can hop across that pretty easy. We have to be careful, though. Uh, the bird that drops the boulders can actually attack you from here. So we'll want to stay underneath our roof more often than not. Oh, yes. This feels so good every time I collect it. Okay. Ah, uh, well, it's full. Alright, we'll take the drumsticks with us. We have an extra canister. Take this bowl of soup. Probably need a new bow at one point, but we won't bring our machete along, not until we find something that requires it. Sadly, I'm down to my last net launcher, but really all I want is maybe a second goat. By now, we, uh, we're far enough ahead with the wool where I don't really have to worry about it as much. And for the sake of it, let's craft uh, leather body armor, and we'll start working toward the leather uh, greaves next. But this should protect us, and it should allow us to survive two hits against one of those boulder birds. Alright, soup time! We'll leave this bottle here, for now. Alright, time to step on this island and check it out. A new adventure. Pretty much this whole area is a whole bunch of trailers, and you want to search them all, because a lot of the uh, drawers and cupboards contain valuable loot. Even fuel for your engines. Stuff like that. So it's, it's wise to search every trailer you can. Alright. Silver smoothie. Beautiful. We're going to have to get that. There's a puzzle to get it. You follow this piping. 
and deliver water to fill up the well and then grab the item out of it. Alright, that bird's gonna start attacking me any moment. Leto Scientific Journal. Classified. Ma says I should write down what I think to make it stick, so I write. Caravan Town is a rock sticking out from the water. It has good land to raise pigs to eat. We can fish, grow vegetables. Uh, only downside are the hyenas, but they are usually friendly. We came here on a boat with half the rest of Jakarta. They let us stay because Ma is smart and Pa is good at welding. They say I'm just another mouth to feed. But I'll show them. See, the problem is the water is rising, right? What if we just take away the water? <laughs> yes. You know, just use buckets, carry the water from the ocean to a pond. And then there's no more ocean. It's genius. It's 9,000 IQ. Stone arrow. Hell no. Get out of here. Alright. I hear bees. Maybe I should go back and grab my capture net, huh? And I should sleep. Don't want to be exploring this area in the dark when I can't see what I'm doing. Alright, let's get back to the raft. And what is this? Battery charger part, huh? Nice. Ow. But look at that. Look at how much damage that did. It did barely any. Compared to what we're used to, right? That's beautiful. Alright, let's make sure... He may come back. Yeah, see? He still technically sees me. So just be wary of that whenever you're here. Wow, it's... Strange. He seems to hit me even when he shouldn't. But, whatever. We have the armor. I'll deal with it. If I get really worried, I can go under my roof. Alright. Alright, that's two out of three required for our uh, pair of leather greaves. Oh, there's a good drink. Eat that coconut chicken. Deposit this wool. The bottle, and we need our net. Alright, capture net, and something broke. One of our tools. Our shears broke. We don't have to worry about that right now. Alright, let's head out. Keep searching. We're not going to need to eat for a while. Pretty well squared away. Um, we've searched in there. Ah, he hit me through the roof. I'll have to remember to crouch in here whenever I'm trying to avoid his attacks. You kind of have to crouch just to make sure it's foolproof. Okay, mushroom omelette. Look at that, eh? Okay, another mushroom omelette. That's beautiful. Whoa, he's trying. Okay. Son of a bitch. Saw them rounding up all the hyenas in cages. Sanjay is helping separate the rafts from the rocks. I asked Dr. Henrik about Ma. He looks sick too. Told me to avoid the pigs. And Olaf. Sanjay says he's scared. Smart man, Sanjay. 
Okay. Okay, red melon recipe. Nice. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. Oh, that's how you get up there. Okay. Jump over here. Go around here. Climb up the ladder. There we go. Okay. Cheers now. Okay. Five baked potatoes. Let's just leave those here. Same with the meals, the drinks. These we can have. Inconsequential as they are. Okay. Time to get going again, but first let's build a new set of shears. Wow. Alright. Beautiful. Full suit of armor. Uh, the durability isn't synchronized. The other pieces took damage before this one, but that's okay. Bastard. Alright. Let's go. Uh, let's sleep first. Alright. Oh, yeah. I love these buffs, man. All the great meals that we're finding here. Alright, let's go. It's time to continue our exploration. After trying to refill the recycler here. Alright. I think the clams are actually pretty good for that purpose. Okay. Well, it's full again. We'll get a bunch more cubes from that. Alright, let's go. God, I want to kill that bird so bad. The thing is, until you do, he just harasses you endlessly. Like, it's not gonna stop. Not unless I get lucky and find, like, a safe place where he loses sight of me, but... Anyway, where's this water puzzle? Uh, it's up here somewhere. Ghetto Scientific Journal. Talk. Talk. Sanji says the water pump idea doesn't work, because there isn't enough space in the well for all the water. Also, the neighbors complain about getting salt in their cups. They complain because they have no patience for science. I asked Pa why we can't fly to another planet without all this water. Pa just laughed. But Sanjay showed me some pictures that gave me a great idea, though. Good man, Sanjay. Okay. 
Okay, we got a zipline part. Zipline and battery charger. Those are the key treasures of this island. Ouch. But that's why the armor is important. You're not safe just because you're inside one of these shelters. You can still get you. Ooh. Sailing as one, the raft towns of Indonesia. The flooding of Jakarta has led to escaping locals creating interconnected rafts as they make their way to land. We just make do, said Putri Reyes, one of the earlier adopters of these raft towns, when inquired by one of our reporters about their living conditions. Drifting largely on sea currents, they appear to be growing at a steady rate, raising considerable concerns with coastal authorities. A maritime hazard in the making, the foreign minister stated this morning in a public address. Despite these concerns, many believe raft towns could very well be a viable alternative. Recent rumors surrounding the construction of sanctuary towers in the southern hemisphere has only increased tensions. We sought a comment from the local government. Speech to the 17th of May. Fifth draft. Why do you... <clears throat> Why do you think I, Olof Wilkström, left that corrupt city? Because they refused to let regular working class uh. work on board. I was appalled. Why should the elite get to escape the apocalypse? They should be forced to share their luxury. Wow. Who should force them? That's right! The greatest rafters in this new southern sea! You! Take Tongaroa! Take back your future! That? Right, I have to dig here, huh? I'll need to bring back a shovel. Oh, there's another llama down there, but I, I don't need that. All right. Ghetto Scientific Journal. Monster Investigation. There's a stranger in town called Olaf something. Pa keeps going to his meetings. No kids allowed. But at night, I got Sanjay to help me sleep onto the stranger's ship. I thought maybe he had some medicine for Ma, but Olaf's boat was just filled with cages. In the cages were big rats and a very large hyena. They were so angry. Sanjay found notes talking about feeding and training them into his personal army. Sanjay thinks Olaf might be a bad guy. I think I agree. Another battery charger part. I think that makes three. All three, perhaps. Okay. Ooh, 
Let's go. No ammo, right. It's because I have extra arrows now, so every time I auto-deposit, I auto-deposit everything. Oh, right, the shark. Still exists, eh? Alright, we'll have to pick a, a different departure point. At least the bird will stop fucking with us once we go underwater. For a while, we'll have a break. My name is Sanji. I think I'm in trouble. That all put together a diving suit using a bike and an old diving helmet. That all put weights in it to go down, but he put in too much. Now if I leave, then no one will pump air to that all using the bike. Uh -huh. If I'm thrown in jail, this is proof I'm innocent. That all scientific journal. Underwater caches. Sanjay ran off crying as soon as they dragged me out. Very unprofessional. There's lots of debris underwater. I couldn't get anything out though. Sad. Pa forbade me from doing any more experiments. I think he's just angry because Ma got sick. Dr. Henry said she Chest be over okay. there, huh? So it's okay. Alright, well we gotta go underwater to where he was pumping oxygen to. We're gonna want one of those breathing bottles. Definitely. And there's that chest. I'm just gonna go grab that now. Oh god, it's kind of a dangerous... Okay. Got it. We'll build the battery charger before we go back to the ship. And we'll look around for uh, pufferfish. I believe this is where you build the battery charger. Oh, that's zipline parts. Okay, so the battery charger is clearly something different. The mayor's house, maybe. Alright, let's go. The raft is over there. We're gonna we're gonna craft a diving bottle. And I'm pretty sure I can kill a bunch of puffer fish when we go down to where to where that character was pumping the oxygen with the bicycle. <laughs> Fuck is that bird? Yeah. Freaking asshole. He's just constantly been coming at me this whole time, eh? Can't forget my arrows. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of these other three because it just seems like it's causing problems. Alright. Alright, drink some more milk. We have an extra meal as well as a bottle of water. Let's get going. Oh, uh, we need our shovel. And we need a breathing bottle. Which, I think the breathing bottle is pretty expensive. It's gonna cost a bottle. Yeah. Empty bottle, vine goo. <sighs> and probably gonna want some flippers as well. We now have our diving equipment that we need, and we have our shovel for whatever is buried up there. I'm going to go check what's buried up there first, and then we'll go diving. Dirt. Alright, yeah, we need explosive powder for this. Datto's experiment journal, attempt 733. Pa helped me weld the rocket together, and Sanjay borrowed some fireworks to get it started. To apologize to everyone for the explosion. I don't get it. It was just a test. What an overreaction. They would have taken my tools if Sanjay hadn't helped me put out the fire. <laughs> ah, good helper, Sanjay. Beautiful. Well, we already have the explosive goo that we need to launch that rocket. Hey, another explosive goo. Look at that. Hey, we got two for that one. For the first time in this playthrough, we've gotten two explosive goo from a puffer fish. Wonderful. Augmented our supply. I want to search this shit for sure. Oh. Another extra explosive goo. Oh, that's one. That's freaking awesome. Oh, here we go. Okay, little crevice right there you can squeeze through. 
better make sure I don't get stuck in here. That's a shitty way to die. Alright. Ah, it's getting dark again. There is a hidden chest over here, I believe. Yeah. I have to come back here after that rocket, I'm pretty sure. Alright. My bow broke. I'm gonna have to get another one. Okay. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Meleeing them is significantly harder than using the bow. Significantly. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Wonderful. And all of those furnaces have enough fuel to get the job done. And we got four pufferfish heads for soup later. I should try to leave vine goo in this chest. New bow acquired, and the battery needs recharging. Well, we'll need one more battery for the juicer over there, so we may as well craft another one now and put it in the recycler to keep it working. And then we can recharge both once we get the battery charger from here. Alright. Fill that up. That'll do us for a while. him. Too explosive goo from that one. Boom. I better be quick about this. I am running out of time. Hey, kill 50 puffer fish. Look at that. That's awesome. Alright. Oh my god, my oxygen! Let's avoid that one. Alright, here we go. Infirmary key, metal detector, and a zipline part. Okay, well, we can craft a metal detector now. What the hell, dude? That's weird. I don't know what happened there, but... Whatever, we'll just chalk it up to lost arrows, I suppose. This is where a secret chest is, I believe. Yeah, look at that fucking thing. Underwater safe crate. Good stuff. Alright, got that. Let's get to the nearest oxygen site before we run out of time. Right here. Okay. And what's beautiful is... Oh god. We don't even have to go back to our base for that explosive powder. We found one in a crate. So, we're just going straight to the bomb. Okay. Explosive powder. Here we go. Lands over there. Okay, here it is. We got uh, firework, zipline part. I think we have three zipline parts now. Three battery charger parts, three zipline parts, and the infirmary key. I remember seeing the infirmary, but I think I'm going to need the zipline to get over to it. Ow. Okay. 
We now have the blueprints required for the zipline, zipline tool. Okay, and we have a zipline tool right here. We just have to keep that equipped and we can use it. <laughs> Major Tom. <laughs> not the best astronaut, but not the worst either. Okay. Now we're going to have to start zipping the lines to places. The mayor. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. Battery charger. Nice. And the mayor's hat. Okay. Mayor's chest key. So we're not done here yet. Ooh. Okay. Jesus. That gets me back to the mayor. Let's go this way. Closer to our raft. Oh my god, no. Okay. Ow, okay. Oh, you guys are just devouring the freaking grass, eh? Alright. Okay. Should be safe under here. As long as we crouch. Alright. Pause it. Those. I need to craft more arrows. I need this bottle. And there's gonna be boars here, and my armor is, like, almost broken, so I better be fucking quick on my feet. Gotta get to the building where there's shelter. Yeah, those pigs. Gotta look out for those. Alright. Healing salve. Another healing salve. Very good. Just in case of emergencies, right? Might save my life. Another one. Crate. It's been three days. Stuck in the shack. Sick as a dog. I don't think I can treat anyone in my condition and these people know it. I asked them to leave me here. It's the pigs. For weeks they've acted erratic. I've been blind to it. I didn't even notice the butchers getting sick. It all started when Olaf Wilkstrom arrived, and I did not see it as a coincidence. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Oh yeah, screw this. Way too many enemies. Let's go. that minor healing salve. Alright. I think we're done here. I think we've cleared this island. Despite much peril and difficulty, 
engine controls, and a note leading us to Tangara. 6692. Tangaroa. Okay. Well, we can now craft the battery charger, zip line, zip line anchor, and we are good to go. Zipline, zipline tool, and firework. Where's the battery charger? Right here. Alright, we need a titanium ingot. So, uh, we, we unlocked a metal detector, right? Alright, we need to scan a battery. Let's bite the bullet and get it done. Uh, this one's not dead yet. We'll grab our dead one and scan that. Oh my god! Caught me thirsty. Alright. I'd like to craft a metal detector and use it on this island in an attempt to find titanium. Alright, metal detector and headlight. Now, obviously, we're gonna need the shovel. If I can find a few titanium, we will be golden. We can make the really good stuff. Titanium ore on our first one. That's great. More titanium. Three of it. Oh, beautiful. We already have five titanium, guys. This is well, fucking wonderful. This fabulous is what this is. Oh, shit. Sleep and let's push off. Now let's uh, straighten that. Activate the engines, uh, which both need a top up fuel wise. Ugh, son of a bitch. I'm really glad we had armor by the time we got here, dude. This is so deadly when you don't have it. Those will take a while to finish, but they will get done. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's get out of here. I gotta release anchor and get these engines started. Yeah, that persistent bird is the worst part about all this. Yeah, that's right. Now you're going to struggle to keep up, huh? Doing really good on wool right now. He's still coming, bro. Look at this fucking guy. He's so committed, like... And so he chased Tommy to the ends of the earth and back, never ceasing his pursuit, never giving quarter. <laughs> and Tom was both pissed and pleased. All right. Got a 
turn slightly. Alright, we're headed straight for it now. It'll take a while before we reach Tangaroa, though. 1,800 meters away isn't nothing. Let's grab our first titanium out of here. Oh, yeah. Bro, if he comes back with another frickin' boulder, I'll just be impressed. Oh, my God. You see him to the left there? He's actually still coming. Yo, that's fucking crazy. That, that guy, like, never gives up. All right, let's scan a titanium ingot. We need the battery charger, so. All right, enhanced capture net, engine controls, and battery charger. Battery charger is the really important thing. Here it is. All right, scrap, circuit board, titanium, and plastic. It's gonna cost all four of our titanium to make it, but it's worth it. This fucking guy, bro. Oh, he despawned. I'm so glad I got that on camera. That is hilarious. All right. Okay. Well, there it is. Battery charger. All right. Beautiful. What are we uh, missing in here? Plastic. This one will swap out for the one on the recycler. Right. All right. That'll do. Beautiful. Got to turn slightly. All right. So far, so good. Actually, now that we have the battery charger, why the hell don't I uh, make a sprinkler system for the garden? We have one, don't we? Yeah. It includes the grass underneath it, too. Oh my god, so many items. Absolute insanity. Okay. Alright. Gotta keep our crops watered, and we have to, what, fill this? Can we fill it with, like, salt water? <laughs> Looks like it. Okay. Alright. Automatic sprinklage. might get titanium from that. Might. Yep, one titanium ore. Beautiful. Alright. Let's get out of here. Epic dodge. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, don't look at that last part, but, like, the dodge was dope, alright? We gotta put biofuel in. And it'll only run as long as the batteries need charge, so. All right. Oh, yeah. I love that. I love collecting recipes. All right. Now 
Gonna need to find the entrance to there. coconuts and one beet and three coconuts and one beet yeah we'll do two batches vegetable soup we still have three of so i'm not too worried about that oh man that place is a chore to search it's gonna be really hard <laughs> like really really hard surprisingly difficult it's so expansive. You're, you're genuinely just searching a city by yourself. That's what it is. Now, I've used a lot of copper lately. Let's make sure we stay on top of our supply. Okay. Should be good here. We can even get in without touching the water. Yeah, okay. Let's deactivate the engine. Okay. I guess it's time we got started, huh? Oh yeah, I don't I don't need to water the crops anymore. Okay. I feel like I need a dedicated plank chest to just sort of chill somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Alright, that will do. So now we have a massive amount of wood available. We can remove most of it from these containers. And this is genuinely just a fuel chest. Here we go. Our first brave, hesitant steps into Tangoria. Wait. Tangaroa. Yeah. Loading bay, storage area, and generate. That's a big rat. Okay, these guys take a lot more hits to bring down. Did they give me two meat instead of one? No, still just one. Captain Tully ordered us to push the engines to their limits. Trying to outrun a fleet of rafts or something. It's going to overheat the reactor. I sent a message up the tower. Tully doesn't care. How fear faring, Dr. Helmer? Much better. Ah, this is a normal one. Okay, four hits. part. Okay. This one can be opened. Third generator part. Head broth, right on. And coconut chicken. Alright, generator's active. Let's complete this puzzle. So pretty much the yellow lines indicate hallways. Uh, so I have to create a hallway leading from here all the way to there. But there's a special loot room down here. Right there, you can see the opening. You want to create a path here and over there. Okay, that's it. We've done it. All right, let's get in there. Through here, over here, down this way. Check it out, hidden loot room with some titanium in it. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. And a spare machete. Beautiful, totally worth the extra work. I mean, five, yeah. 
turn, right? And we are done in the generator room. What's this? Water pipe. The engines are done. People upstairs are already upset about the extreme rationing. Now we're at the mercy of the waves. And those rafts on the horizon are coming closer by the hour. We're concealing up the reactor now. I don't care what Captain Tony says. I really could have been here. Wow. All right, so the bulkhead opens. I don't think I can actually swim up there. All right, so generator, storage area, plantation. All right, oh, uh, this way, the plantation. We can now reach the ladder. Yes. Okay. They're screaming upstairs. Off the captain opened fire on the rafters. A damn riot broke out. Some supported Tony's orders, others really did not. A smaller raft made its way into the water entrance. There was only a kid on board. His parents were sick, I think. The poor boy isn't saying much. Tangaroa's a lost cause. We're getting out of here. The very first access to bananas. And strawberries, I believe. Alright, no, duct tape. No, no. The entire ecosystem is ruined. I've warned Captain Tully about this for weeks now. My contract doesn't allow me to tell anyone else, and it's uh, up inside. Holy shit. The banana plants won't bear nearly enough food, not to mention the infestations. It will be started by the end of the year, if not sooner. Oh my god. Holy shit. I got thirsty at the worst time. Okay, let's eat up. Make sure that doesn't happen again. Beautiful. Okay. We'll be fine now. Provided we watch our step and just do things carefully and competently from here on out. Okay. Let's head through here. Can't get through that door yet. Security team still going patrols in their ridiculous golf carts trying to keep some semblance of order. I heard the rafters let loose some type of a rat. Oh, and they strapped tasers on all the butler bots. Like some kind of dumb guerrilla war upstairs. We're fixing up a boat, but there's no engine. The raft kid thinks we can take one of the golf cart engines. It's not a bad idea. Captain Tully and the investors are still up in the tower. I say leave them there to rot. Now, that last three duct tape that I need, I won't find that for a while. I basically have to find those three, those last three duct tape on the surface where the city is. So it's gonna be some time before I can crack that door open and see what's in there. I'll try to remember it's there, and I probably will. Okay, the city of Tangaroa. Now, can we open these? Yep. I wonder if we have to open all four, or if all of them are now open because I opened that one. Okay, Tangaroa keycard. Gonna want to find a bunch of those. Let's go check over here. Now, uh, there's... There's coins that you have to collect here. Special coins. Uh, there's a limited amount of them. I'll keep an eye out. The kid's name is Detto. How someone his age was able to reconstruct an engine like that? I'll never know. 
Now we've got the boat working. We'll be gathering up a few more survivors before we head off. The rafters either hid up in the apartments or left to sea. Most of them seemed sick. No wonder they were so desperate. We need to hurry. Those large rats that came with the rafters are aggressive. I say let them chew Tangaroa into pieces. I'm coming for you, Hana. Remember the place we heard about? The sanctuary? We'll meet there. I know it. I'll see you there. Oh my god. Okay. Another key card. We're gonna have to kill all of them and get all the key cards, I think. But first, I want to find out where our raft is. Alright. As I thought, I'm gonna have to open all four of these manually and I'm gonna have to get eyes on my raft. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that was quick. And it looks like we're good where we are, more or less. You know what? Let's reverse just a tad. Beautiful. Now we just walk straight up the ramp, and we can get in. Now. What about these? What is that? Strawberry seed, banana seed. Now the banana seed is probably a tree. I probably won't be able to... Okay, I can plant strawberries in these plots, at the very least. Crops we'll throw in here for now. Head broth we don't need on us. Like that. Oh, beautiful. All right. Now we have an extra machete. Don't need to bring it. I definitely need to craft a new spear. Possibly two. We're gonna do a lot of fighting here, so I will. I'll craft two, and then where are these going? I suppose over here would be the best option, eh? Just kind of. All right, I'm content with that placement. All right, plant those. These seeds we'll keep over here with the crops. A little reminder of our sustainability there. The strawberries seem to grow very quickly in comparison to other crop types. Okay. Definitely, yeah. I'm gonna build a second water purification thing. We really need it. Okay. Good. We'll grab this. And then let's figure out a way of orienting these proper. I'd say so. That looks nice. Yeah. Let's move it. Eh. I might want to have another chest for food items over here, so we'll leave it the way it is. I like having the extra space here to the left to do with as I will. So, we now have bananas and strawberries. The raft has continued to grow. We've made it to Tangaroa, which is beautiful. Okay. I think I'll pop back in there before we wrap up today. Do a little bit more exploring. I need a new bow, however. I'm just really glad we have a whole bunch of vine goo, because I remember one time I was here and I actually ran out of seaweed and vine goo, so I couldn't make myself a new bow, even when I wanted to. Thankfully, that isn't the case right now. So, uh, we have the metal detector and the shovel. We're definitely going to want those, at least the metal detector on our hot bar. We have a little bit of food to tide us over. God, if you cut every tree here, you can just fill the frickin' recycler. Over and over again, probably. Well, the bow's definitely stronger than the spear is. Ah! I am at your service. Prepare to die. That's, that's basically what he's doing. 
Oh yeah, we've used half of a spear already. It's a really good thing we crafted the second one. Oh my god, holy shit. Okay, these guys are way more dangerous than I thought to melee. Holy shit, guys, we almost died. We actually almost fucking died. Okay. Careful times. Very, very careful times now. Oh, yeah. Let's try this out. Well, I'm not detecting a signal over here. Okay. We got another key card. Okay. Holy shit. Things seem to be growing nicely. Let's check. Uh... Oh, strawberries are ready. Okay, we can replant them. I hope we get good luck with the strawberry seeds. I'd like to keep getting strawberry seeds back so I can keep replanting, right? I don't know if it's like a crop that goes extinct eventually <laughs> when you, you know, when you harvest it and don't get seeds, but. All right, got more wool. Grab the egg. How is this doing? It requires water, huh? at the wool. We have seven pieces now. can make all the armor we want. Okay. Now, let's pick the building closest to where our raft is and search that building first. Alright. Close that. All right, let's go up then. Our first building. With only one floor, and that's floor eight. Love the elevator music. Reminds me of Dead Rising, you know? Like that shopping mall music. Now, you're gonna wanna look really thorough in every apartment. You can find gold coins here on these shelves. You can find them in a great many places. In these cupboards as well, you can sometimes find gold coins. We're going to be very thorough going through here. Even on top of the fridge. Like, everywhere you can look. Look at this. Okay, good example. Vending machine token sitting in the sink of the kitchen. So, there's a, there's a lot of, you know, you'll be rewarded if you're extra thorough about your looting. And if you're really checking every nook and cranny, it can be very fun to loot this area if you're committed. We can get up there. Let's just make sure there's no other pathways inside this apartment building. Let's go over here first. Look at that. Another one in the bowl on the dresser. Very interesting. Ah, and here we go. Our first machete door. Oh, duct tape. Cool. Okay, so that's one of the three that we need for the door underground. Another token. Not bad, buddy. Not bad. Another duct tape. God damn, we almost have all three for that place. A lot of loot. Now, I don't see a gold coin anywhere. It doesn't mean there isn't one, but I'm not seeing one. Up. Okay. Let's examine the area. We have to try to enter that building from here, so I'm going to jump across. Thank God I didn't fuck up that jump, eh? And, uh, let's take a brief look around. So we might have to do this zip line. I don't see another way down or in. There is a crate here, though, that I'd rather not miss. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Okay, let's take this zip line down. See where it leads. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding. Are you 
you serious? This is oh, I don't want to get cornered in here by one of those guys. This is kind of hard. I might not even jump off at the bottom. If I hit the wall, it's fine. I need to figure out how to do this. Okay. Now, over here. Alright, we made it here this far. Oh, come on. Oh. Aha! <laughs> okay. Well, good. We've made it. Despite the difficulty, we've made it. Talk down here. Yeah, I think I can get back up there if I want to. Okay, I made it back up somehow by using the windowsill to my advantage. Now, uh, down here. But I can't get in here? I really thought this would be it. Like, the purpose to come in here. I don't know. Let's, okay. Over here. Let's drop down. Alright, let's check this one then. Right across the street from the barber. It's moderately proximate to our raft. Alright, left side first. further up, it seems. But I remember there was a branching path back in that apartment building. I'm gonna search the other direction, and then I'll come back out here. Well, there's my third and final duct tape. Hidden crate up there. Alright, time to hop through that window and see what we can see. But we did find that third duct tape here, which was nice. Of debatable usefulness, but I still found a lot of extra shit. Wait. Can I, like... Can I jump over here? Like, onto that thing? Is there any purpose to that? for a coin. 14 and 12. Two floors to this one. Darkness won't help to locate coins, but hopefully I still see them anyway. Another duct tape. Probably don't need four, but, well, I don't need those extra berries that I got on Balboa Island either. Yet here we are. Okay. Oh, that was fucked, man. Getting thirsty without water on your belt when you're in the middle of combat? That's scary shit. Okay. Got another machete door. Here we go. Right. Okay. Drop the stone, don't need that. Okay. Fourteen.
Tak, okay. Got that. I see no golden coins. I do, however, see a rooftop. We might have rooftop access from here. Another duct tape. Check the windows. Yeah, see? Broken window right here. And to what end, I wonder? Well, a hidden crate. A crate I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Okay. Don't see any golden coins around the pool table. Or around there. Now we've searched this area. Haven't we? No. Alright. Two more duct tape. We're gonna have such an excessive amount of that when we're done. It's time to return to the raft. Good. Well, we keep getting seeds to replace them. more titanium. By the time we can make those tools, we'll have more than enough titanium to do so. Alright, let's shear the sheep, milk the goat. Grab the eggies. Oh, yeah. Having two of these is real nice. It's just a instantaneous, like, full top-up when you need it, you know? Alright, let's hope we get more strawberry seeds. Okay, I lost seeds there, which kind of sucks, right? Like, I'm almost wondering, how do you infinitely, sustainably... You know. I'll have to find out how to get more strawberry seeds. Although, it's possible they just become a rare... Uh, a rare item that you find on islands after coming to Tangaroa. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Anyway, I'm not finding anything I can dig up on Tangaroa so far, so I might just abandon hope on that. Alright, that battery's getting a little low. Let's swap it out for one of the other ones. Well, the other one. Okay, that's... Ready to go. Fuck it, let's eat the egg. Okay. Batteries charging. Uh, no new recipes. Uh, we have the water pipe. Okay. We've learned that. Grab the titanium. Refueled. Fill our bellies. Beautiful. Okay. Drink this milk. Alright. And we'll take this with us next time we go up there. Let's prepare another coconut bee drink as well. Steaks, keep them down here with the additional drink. And then with those, plus our water here, we should be fine for a while. I'm gonna call this episode here. Oh man, the raft has still improved, even after all this time. 
today we got those uh we got strawberry seeds we got those banana trees growing we have all sorts of new recipes and a second water distiller oh yeah things are going good and the fact that we have the battery charger now everything's perfect i'm gonna actually fill up the recycler before we log out here i just uh you know i really want to thank you guys for choosing to spend this time here with me today i really hope you're enjoying this adventure and I hope that you continue to enjoy it. And I hope that I continue to not die into the final conclusions of it. We had a really close call today against that butler bot with the taser. Oh my god. Uh, our screen grayed out. Our health was so low. We literally almost died, dude. And if it wasn't for these boots, we would have died. Uh, the armor rating saved our asses. Same with uh, Balboa. No. Same with... Oh, what the fuck is it called? Caravan Town. Same with Caravan Town and that bird, man. He almost got us too. Uh, but, for now, we're okay. Anyway, guys, don't forget to check the pinned comment down below for the word of the day and a health cookie. Maybe try having a cold shower if you never have. Or try fasting if you never have. They're, uh, they're worthwhile habits. I mean, just for longevity. If you're like me, then every now and then, you like your tobacco, you like your weed, right? But what would you rather do? Enjoy that stuff and suffer the consequences, or enjoy that stuff and not suffer the consequences? Typically, that's what a healthy lifestyle allows, is you can have your fun, but you can also compensate for the damage and keep yourself well. So if you're smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, eating processed food, whatever your poison, at least do some stuff to counteract the damage, right? Fasting, carnivore diet, once in a while, and uh, cold showers are a good place to start, meditation as well. Yeah, give a shit about yourself. I mean, if you don't, who will? Right? We can't always count on having an external force to motivate us to become better than we currently are. Sometimes we have to be that motivating factor. Anyway, guys, enough preaching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, rock on, and peace out. Later.